I visited my nephew the other day, and he made this beautiful piece of macaroni art. Uh, isn't it cute? Kid, let me show you what real macaroni art's like. Mac and cheese. It's creamy, it's yummy, and it's a comfort food staple. And given the insane amount of negativity in the world, I think we do need a bit of comfort food. Even you, Mr. President. But just a heads up, this isn't gonna be your typical yellow slop, and I'll show you why later. But first, let us cook the pasta. You're gonna need about 16 ounces of elbow macaroni. Are you a member of ISIS? The number you're looking for is 450 grams. Now, let's bring a pot of water to a boil. All right, our water has come to a boil. Let's add our 16 ounces of macaroni elbows. Mix them around a bit so they don't clump together. Cook until al dente. Al dente is when it's nice and chewy, but with a tiny bit of resistance. That's what you're aiming for. Once the pasta reaches al dente, take it off the heat. Pour it into a pasta drainer and hit it with some cold water so it can stop cooking. Next up is the cheese sauce, made from three different cheese blends. Because if we make the cheese sauce with just one cheese, it's gonna be as rich and complex as wallpaper paste. Actually, no, because wallpaper paste actually serves a purpose. Anyway, on to the sauce. Now toss in four tablespoons of unsalted butter. Also use a medium sized stock pot for this. And let's toss in a quarter cup of flour. Mix it together to form a roux. Let's also add our spices while we're still here. So a teaspoon of salt, half a teaspoon of cracked black pepper, one teaspoon of onion powder, and half a teaspoon of smoked paprika. Mix everything together and add two cups of milk Mix everything together, set to high. Okay, once it thickens up a bit, reduce the heat down to medium low. We don't wanna make it too thick because we're gonna add cheese. Speaking of which, add a cup and a half of sharp cheddar. Half a cup of Parmesan cheese. And finally, half a cup of Gruyere cheese. Oh, and here's my secret. Two cloves of garlic pureed. I added the garlic last because I want that nice sharp bite of the garlic to come through that sauce. Speaking of which, let's do a taste test. You know, it could have used a little bit more cheddar. Perfect. All right, now that our cheese sauce is done, pour it into our casserole dish that contains our macaroni. Don't be afraid to use a silicone scraper. One pound of bacon, chopped and cooked. Mix it all together. Now spread a layer of shredded cheddar cheese on top. Finally top it off with a nice mixture of panko and butter. Turn on your oven's broiler to low. Cook until the top's nice and golden brown. Once you try my homemade mac and cheese, you're never gonna go to that box stuff ever again. Or maybe you will because it's only $3 a box while buying all three cheeses for this recipe costs five times that. Still, at least try it once. This has been Chase Cutting Kitchen. I'm CRJ, making cooking fun and meaning it this time.
Hey, what up, CRJ here. If you like the video, smash the like button. Maybe, I don't know, become a subscriber. Don't forget to follow me on Twitter and Instagram. And I'll also be at VidCon 2018 in Anaheim. Hope to see you there.